Well, reorganization, a lot of different things here. We have selective voltmeters, signal generators, spectrum analyzers, recorders. Counters, generators, antennas off of warships. I believe this is off of HMCS Saskatchewan. We've got several of those things. Each ship was a year-long project. Four warships, five years, approximately, and having fun. Anyway, some more signal generators. Can I reach in there and put a... Oh, boy. I'll figure it out later. Aha. Uh -huh. Forgot about that. But I'm gonna slide it. It's easy to slide these things along here. You gotta put a cable in the back of this fellow. Various um, signal generators, higher frequency, that is um, one gig to about two gigs, three gigs. Nice little analyzer up there, works very good. Some older stuff for testing and analyzing, as well as good old general radio signal generators. This is, <laughs> oh my me, John, carry on. This is in kilohertz. Very low bands, so that'll be useful. A battery of, um, Spectrum analyzers with signal generators, sweep generators. And behind me, uh, cables and wires and things. X band radar system, generate frequency generators, another spectrum analyzer. Over here, a scope to connect to the output of this spectrum analyzer. And the tube is not that, I think it's burned out. But I, I do it with this one over here. Gives a better image down there. But the tube's okay in this guy. Okay, so uh, a vintage radio, of course, to pick up stray ambient weird stuff like earthquake activity and other things, which I used to do some years ago. Uh, what else we got going here? Uh, these are drawers full of components. Get up, move around. Well, here's some vintage stuff. I'm gonna broadcast my own TV signal. This, this ancient signal generator has got a video output, and here's a TV set. Yahoo! Been having fun with this stuff. Broadcasting and picking up strange things. Had some strange things happen. Uh, good old heavy duty uh, general radio. Um, <laughs> signal generator. Too bad. So this area is being used quite a bit. Getting some results. That's the antenna up there. The other part of the lab here. RF generation gear, high voltage generation gear. These are excellent for generating or high voltage, of course. X-ray transformers. Uh, some stuff that's going out. Playstrons, they're fun to play with, but you gotta be know what you're doing. And we have down here a spectrum analyzer. Vintage Navy radio. A diathermy machine, they are a lot better than Tesla coils, by the way. different generators and stuff. And we do as well. Another cool, um, beautiful 250 watt 
27 megahertz vacuum tube diatherm machine. As I said, a lot better than a Tesla coil for doing better refined work instead of this spark. This is a projector kind of device. Magnetic fields in this area here. You can see the big generator. Cables all over the place. Now, this section is another section, of course. Cleaned it up a little bit today. Will be more dynamic energy type stuff. And all kinds of good stuff under here, of course. Microwave generators as well as over there. Calibrators. Echo boxes. No, that's not me. More uh, generators here. Twice-drawn power supply and signal source. This is a multi-band solid state, really cool massive signal generator. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That uh, at least about a hundred or so hundred sources for signals. Ah, uh, let's see. So we got on and off these little buttons here. We have external modulation. Here we go. On off modulation on. To basically CW level controls. As well as in this rack. Signal sources. Power conditioning equipment. Heavy duty down below here is heavy duty. Direct current supplies. Hey, guess what that is? You got it. R390A from Fair Radio Sales a long time ago. Nice old receivers. More signal generation stuff, RF amps, antennas, kilowatt power RF unit, vinyl, 100 megahertz antenna with, on the other side, this one's off HFCS Yukon. Countermeasure system, which I had operating in the apartment, by the way. <laughs> so, actively running, the, uh, so far the test has been pretty good with this stuff. Let's just take a walk over here. What's operating now? This is the Navy section, armory and machine shop area, my area. Yahoo! Armaments, artillery. I won't go into all the details on that. We're just going to go on focus. Focus on electronics. This is all running right now. Okay. There you have it. Uh, into machinery. I got lots of these little lathes. And a lot more than that. I got massive machine shop. Nice machine shop. Quick look. Baby milling machine, which I use for some projects. Next step will be organizing yet more in the machine shop. Which you've probably seen the videos of these machines. Lots to organize, heavy, very heavy, so you gotta do it slow. All the way down to the back. All the machine tool stuff. Okay? Okay. Okay, so that's that area. And this area here. Ha! 
the armory cannons and parts for cannons and so many things crates full of cannon stuff gotta organize that too oh god okay <laughs> oh my god come on yeah who else needs a cannon barrel i i do hey look two boxes full of bofers 40 mm never used cannon barrels with springs by the way and flash hiders, yahoo! Lots of Mark 14 gun sights. Original box, never used. All kinds of them. Plus the calibrator for them, called the Bishop's Hat. Anyway, back to electronics. Here we have a heavy duty DC power supplies. Isn't that cool? Ha, ha, ha. So, I did feed the ravens, by the way. <laughs> this over here and film myself. I don't know. I look pretty rough. It's cold, so I got pants on. What do you think of that? I don't know if this will film. Let's see. Hi. You're truly here. See, I got pants on. Because it's cold. I don't like clothes that much. I don't even see me or not. Stand up straight. Yeah, stand up straight. Not doing too much today. That's me, your little hottie. Okay, bye. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, let's see if the ravens are around today. I already fed them. Take a quick look out the window, but I don't think so. Seems like it's anywhere from one, two, uh, date. 10, 12 ravens. Getting to know them. Hello? Are you out there? Mm. No, the tray is still. Because they all went away. They come and go. Feed them every day. Give them water. And they talk to us. And they uh, kind of uh, adopted us. So every day we get to see them, talk to them. And they even fly a mile away to talk to us. Another location where we stay, hang out. Because you can tell by their voice. And I'm getting, getting to know these little creatures more and more. So other little animals, the squirrels, cats, a few cougars, deer, and other animals pop around. Okay, I'm going to shut up and get going.